So occasionally I find myself needing to grab onto this to take off this adapter. So I think we need to make a wrench for this. That appears to have worked really well. So the chips are nice and blue, meaning the heat's coming off of it instead of into the bit. And that's not hot. That's a little, this is warm. But obviously I'm not burning myself. Success, other than I now have a giant mess to clean up. So what I don't get is why my screws are magnetized already. I mean, I get why... I get why these are all lined up with the magnetic field in here. Look at that screw. It's all, it, it's, it's magnetized. And that one back there, magnetized as well. But what's going on? I don't get it. Oh, it's just weird. Oh well. This is warm, but not bad. We're finally getting some black all the way across each tooth, meaning the belt's starting to wear in properly. Occasionally, I do have to take this particular uh, ER16 adapter off and replace it with uh, the original tag uh, in case I need like a weird size drill bit or uh, I only have a quarter and a 3 8 collet for the ER16 whereas I have a full set of collets for the older style but I need a wrench that can fit in there and what I had been using was this um, just slamming that in there this was supposed to be one inch uh, this is about 950, 960 so we're 40 thou less uh, I programmed this bit to be a quarter inch, and I didn't actually measure it because it was a quarter inch bit, right? Wrong. It is 246. 960, yeah, we're still off by 40 thou. I do wonder if we were a bit too aggressive with our cuts and needed to go back in with some spring passes or something. Coming through, oh, that's what it is. Every time the Y changed directions, the backlash would bring it back, say, 10 thou, another 10 thou, that's 20 thou, plus the 5. Backlash is a killer, apparently. All that to say is, we need to measure what the backlash is on this Y axis. We're going to measure the backlash later. Um, I got to go to a, a kid's birthday party. Sorry. All right. Thanks for watching.